I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question based on counting principles. We'll have repetition of some characters in this particular example. Sometimes you'll see this question under the topic linear permutations with restrictions. The question here is find the number of ways in which all the letters in the word correction can be arranged. So we'll take up three different conditions. First one is without any condition and then all vowels occur together and C is all vowels are separated. Right. So these are the three conditions under which we'll look into arrangements of the word correction. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now based on counting principle, let's see how many Letters are here in the word correction. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So without condition, the number of ways will be, since there are 10, it will be 10 factorial divided by how many are repeated? Let's see. So we have two C's here. So there are two C's. So that means divided by two factorial for the C's. What else? As far as O's are concerned, we have two O's also. So we'll divide by two factorial for O's. And we see those R's together. Two R's also. So divide by two factorial. So whatever is repeated, since those words form with or without meaning will be exactly same. So we have to divide by those numbers. So that gives you the answer, right? So 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So let's take a calculator and find the exact value. So we have 10 factorial divided by, we can divide by 2, 2, 2 means 8. So let me just divide by 8. And what we get is a very big number, which is 453, 600. So these are the total number of ways without conditions. So the answer for the first one is 453, 600. So I hope this is absolutely clear. Now let's see when we have conditions like all vowels occur together, how can we do it, right? So let's again take up the same question. The word here is correction. So let me write down the word correction and then we'll look into all the vowels. So the word is C O R R E C T i o n now what are the vowels in this a e i o u right so we have i o so we have these four vowels now in this word let's write down what all we have and then we'll figure out the answer so as you can see from here vowels are four and these vowels are O E I O, right? So these are, let me write O's together. O O E and I. So these are the four vowels. So what are consonants? Consonants are total number of words which we saw are 10. 1, 2, let's count them like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 6. 10 minus 4. Those are the consonants. Now, when we want to put all the vowels together, we can actually form a group. And in this group, we can place all these vowels. So, which are O, O, E, I. So, it is O, O, E, I. So, once you place them together, then we are left with how many positions? We are left with six other positions. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Now looking into counting principles, how many ways can you arrange these? So basically treat this as one letter, right? So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, seven. So we have seven factorial divided by out of these consonants, how many of them are repeating, right? So this is what we have to see. So as you can note here, the repetition is uh, because of R's, they are repeating, and also because of C's. So two of them repeat two, two times. So we'll divide by two factorial. Right, so these are the ways in which all of them can be arranged. Now for all these combinations, we have these four vowels. They can be arranged separately also, right? So since there are four, the ways in which you can arrange these vowels are four factorial divided by O's repeat, so over two factorial. You get an idea. So that becomes the solution, right? So permutations with correction, all vowels being together, will be equal to 7 factorial times, well, 4 factorial is 4 times, well, we'll do use calculator. So we'll not over, let's write this as 8. Let's calculate this now. So we have 7 factorial times 4 factorial and we'll divide this by uh, 8, right? We get 15, 120. Correct? So that becomes the answer for all vowels occurring together. Is that clear? Now the last part here is when all vowels are separated. Now my question to you is, when we are trying to answer this question, permutation with correction, all vowels being separated, can it be the difference of part A and B? So let me write, is it difference of part A and part B? Well, remember, Part A for us is without any condition and part B is all vowels occur together. Part C is all vowels are separated. So that is the question first you should answer. Well, the clear answer is no. It is not the same. Since we want the vowels to be totally separated, that means even two vowels cannot come together, right? Or three cannot come together. If we do the difference, then all four are not coming together. So that is how they are different, correct? So let's analyze the word correction once again and answer this question. So word before us is correction, C-O-R-R-E-C-T-I-O-N. Now in this word, we want all vowels separated. Now what are the vowels here? We have O, O, I and E. So these are the four vowels. So let's look into the words other than vowels. Okay. So the words other than vowels are the consonants which are, right on, C, R, R, and then we again have C, then we have T, and N. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Correct. When we say vowels are separated, that means these consonants come in between. Perfect. So what could happen? These four could actually fill the gaps. We could start here. We could put one there, one there, one there, or different places, right? So those are different places in which we could insert vowels to ensure they are separated. You are getting the idea, right? To ensure that they are separated, these vowels could take one of these positions. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positions they can take, right? 
So these positions which they can take are seven. Seven positions they can take and how many vowels do we have? Let me write down again the number of vowels. So vowels which we have are four, two O's, one E and one I. So these are four vowels. So we could actually place four of them, right? Seven P4. And out of them, two are O's, so we have to divide this by two factorial, since they are repeated. So that is inserting vowels. You get the idea, correct? Now, let's talk about these placements. That is placement of consonants. How many are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So they, that will be equal to, let me write down here in a different thing, 6 factorial, out of which there are 2 C's, 2 factorial, 2 R's. Correct? Now, if you really want to find total all vowels separated, now if you want to find all vowels separated it means it is product of these two you get an idea so that is our answer is that clear right so this is this is the answer for us so let's calculate this answer using the calculator so we have 7p4 7p4 which is equals to 840 divided by 2 so this is we get this as 840 divided by 2 so we'll divide this by 2 and then we are going to multiply this by all this so which is 6 factorial divided by let's say 4 180 so that is the answer. Is it okay? So let's multiply and get the answer. So it is 840 times 180 divided by 2, which is 75,600. Right? So the total number of ways is 75,600. That is how we can answer this question. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. And you also understand what do we mean when we say vowels are together and vowels are separated. Right. Let's put all the solutions together and see the whole picture. So what we found in this particular video is that total number of ways in which the word correction can be arranged is 453,600. All vowels coming together was 1, 5, 1, 20, and all vowels are separated, we got the answer as 75, 600. You can clearly see that the difference of first two is not C, correct? So I hope that is a very important learning. Feel free to write your comments and share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching, and all the best.